All right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the Z-Frame knee brace coming from Liat. So Liat, they have multiple knee braces in their lineup. You have the X-Frame and the C-Frame as well, which are gonna be their premium braces. Now the Z-Frame is gonna be for riders that are looking to get into a knee brace, maybe upgrade from a knee guard, but not break the bank doing it. So a set of the Z-Frames are gonna come in at 300 bucks, whereas most premium knee braces, you're gonna be about $300 for just a single. So again, more budget friendly option, while still offering great protection for impacts as well as support for the rider's knee. So before we get in and we talk about the features real quick, let's talk about fitment. It is very important, no matter what knee brace you are buying, you always wanna make sure you look at the product page, look at the sizing guide, take the measurement that they ask you to take. That way you know what size you are going to need. In the case of the Z-Frame, they're gonna take or have you take a measurement of the width of your kneecap. That way you know what size to get. But remember, these are in a pair lining, which means we have our fit guarantee. And this goes for any knee brace that we sell at Rocky Mountain. If you buy them, if you're not happy with the size or fitment, send it back to us in brand new unused condition, and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So let's talk about construction. The way they construct the chassis of this brace, it's an injected composite chassis. So it's not going to be as rigid as the other knee braces in the lineup. So for the X-Frame and the C-Frame, if you're familiar with those, we have product spotlights on those as well. Not as rigid, you can see a lot more flex in this chassis, so just keep that in mind. But what I do like about having that flex in, in the chassis is that when you put this knee brace on and you cinch down these straps, it's just gonna allow that to flex and conform a little bit better to the rider's leg, which ultimately for me, I think just gives a better fit for the knee brace. So that's the chassis, but now as I bend this, you can see really good kneecap protection. So you've got this separate piece here underneath that chassis that has a nice seamless flow to it. But when I open that up, you can see you've got this kneecap protection. This is actually an injected car, or it has carbon injected into it. So this kneecap protector here is actually going to be more rigid than the chassis. And the reason that they did that there, one to help with impact absorption, but also having that be a little bit more rigid is gonna to add to the rigidity of the knee brace around that hinge area, which is where you're gonna want the most rigidity in a knee brace. So great impact protection there. And then also when you look at the back here, what's unique is they utilize their 3D F impact foam on the back of that kneecap uh, protector there. What's nice about that foam, it's similar to D3 on molecular armor if you're familiar with that. So it just does a really good job of absorbing and dispersing energy in the case of an impact. Now we look at the hinge. What I like too, again, at this price point, about 300 bucks, you've got a aluminum hinge housing on the inside here, excuse me, aluminum hinge on the inside, but then also the covers on the outside are also made from aluminum. So that's gonna add to the durability and also just the strength of the knee brace overall. Looking at the backside here, you're gonna have four strap design. But this top strap here, you'll notice, you've got the two straps, but it actually routes to a single point here on this side. But I've put this knee brace on for me. It was comfortable. It's very low profile. So for riders that do have larger legs, you're not going to have any really any issues as far as fitment goes because it is so low profile. But you've got your two straps up here at the top, a couple more straps down here at the bottom. Now, if I had one nitpick with this brace for my first impressions, it would be with the Velcro that they use for the padding. So what I mean by that is this upper pad here and the lower Velcro holds it in place. They didn't use a whole lot of Velcro, so it would have been nice to see them use just a little bit more. That way, you just have a little bit more peace of mind that that padding is not going to go anywhere. But overall, like I said, very comfortable when you put the brace on. Now, last couple of features I do wanna highlight is that this is certified for knee impact protection. Also, what's nice about this brace, and this goes for the X-Frame and the C-Frame from Liat, is that their knee brace is certified as a medical device. Now, why is that important? If you go to your doctor and you're talking about getting knee braces, well, you can actually get in contact with Liat and they call it their white paper. You can just print it out and it's actually signed by doctors that have certified this as a medical device. So you can go to your billing insurance, you can show them that paper and say, hey, will you help me cover these knee braces? So it's a great opportunity to see if you can get some help paying for your knee braces. So I say take full advantage of that. Now also, when you look at the inside here, remember we talked about fitment, that is crucial. You wanna make sure you get the knee brace to fit correctly. Also, if you put the knee brace on and right away you maybe feel like you have some hot spots. Well, what Liat does, they actually include multiple sets of pads. In fact, they have five different sets that you can interchange here on the inside just to get the fitment exactly how you want it. And the last feature about this hinge system that I like with this brace, we see this with a lot of other knee braces, is that you can adjust the hyperextension stop of the brace. What I mean by that is as the brace comes, you can see it's gonna lock out at essentially zero, but you have these little extension stops that come included. So these actually just insert right here in the front of the brace. And by doing that, you can change how soon the knee brace will lock out. 
So you can do 5, 10, 15, and 20 degrees as far as the lockout point, and that is going to come down to rider preference. Some riders like to lock out as late as possible, some like to lock out a little bit earlier. Choice is going to be yours. But there it is. That is the Z-Frame knee brace coming from Liat. If you guys have any other questions about these, leave your questions, your comments below. We will get your questions answered. To pick up your set, it is very simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. Don't forget, orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, well, get subscribed to our YouTube channel. That way you stay up to date and in the loop on the latest gear guides, product spotlights, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.